Let's get started with the principles of optical microscopy and find out why objects appear bigger when we see them through a microscope. A microscope consists of convex lenses, such as the one you can see in the picture here, and such a lens will focus incoming light to a single point and that's the so-called focal point. And to understand how a lens creates an image from an object, we can draw a ray diagram. That is pretty simple to do and it's always the same procedure. So I really want to want you to remember the steps. The first, uh, first thing we do is we choose a point of which you want to know where it is in the resulting image. And in this case, it makes sense to choose the tip of the arrow. Then we draw a horizontal line to the middle of the lens, or you also call that the optical axis. From there, uh, we continue the line throughout, throughout the focal point of the lens. After that, we need to draw a second line, again from the tip of the object, and this time we draw it throughout the optical center of the lens. And Every time when you draw something uh, through the optical center, then the light beam will not be refracted. So it goes straight through it. And now you might already guess that the intersection of the two lines here marks the tip of the arrow in our image on the right side. And yes, that's, that's correct. But just to be sure, we can draw a third light path from the tip of our object, this time through the focal point in front of the lens. And from there, uh, the light ray will be refracted and it continues horizontally. And surprise, all three rays converge in the same point and that is where the lens will display uh, the tip of our, of our arrow in, in the image. And if you do that through all the other points that this arrow has, then, then you get your uh, complete image. And if you put, if you would put a sheet of paper at that point, or maybe even better, you could uh, do that with your retina, then you have an eye, then you could actually see the image and that is why we call that a real image. And later we will learn what a virtual image is and where the difference uh, lies. So let's pretend that is actually our eye here. What, what would happen if we moved the object closer to it? And I think you already know the answer. The closer it comes to, to the lens or to your eye, the larger it appears on, on the screen. Um, if you compare the two pictures here, upper right corner, we have the object far away and it results in a pretty small image. But in the middle, uh, we have the, the object closer to the lens and it appears much bigger on, on the screen. But if you move too close and you can experience that yourself, if you take a pen uh, in front of you and move it closer to your eye, then at a certain point it becomes blurry. And that is because um, the object is not focused on spot on the retina anymore, but behind of it. And that is where a microscope comes in and actually a magnification glass is already a very simple microscope. For an optical microscope the only thing you do is put more lenses together. Very common is an objective lens and an eyepiece, then you have two lenses. So let us understand what the magnification glass does and then we can easily adapt that to, uh, to a system of lenses. For a magnification glass, it is extremely important that the object is located in between the focal point and the lens. 
so we want the object to be placed for example here. And now let us draw the ray diagram again. First horizontal line to the optical axis and from there throughout the focal point. Then the second ray through the optical center. And what the eye does now or what the eye sees are two diverging light beams. And stupid as we are, we assume that these light beams converge at the tip of, of the object. But that's not true, we just think that and that's also why uh, the object appears larger. And this time the image is not real. You couldn't see it if you placed a screen, uh, a screen there. And therefore we call it a virtual image. Now there, there is a very nice website where you can explore ray diagrams and magnification a little bit and I really recommend you to, to do so. So visit the website, the link is in the video description. And if you're interested in the math behind all that, I recommend this YouTube video and you also can find the link to the YouTube video here in the description. So that was it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.